Cam here with um, Jamie Cox's trainer John Costello. John, both boxers have weighed in and uh, maybe surprisingly Jamie's the heavier man. What did you make of all of that? Yeah, I think um, I thought Jamie looked fantastic today on the scales. Obviously, we, you know, Jamie has to work to make 12 stone. Um, he has to work to make it, but it's sensible. It's a sensible weight for him. Um, I think, you know, Jamie couldn't make 11 stone six, he couldn't do it. Um, and I just think, George today looks, he looked ill to me walking to them scales. He, he looked like he was struggling to, to walk to the steps. Uh, um, he looked very emotional in the face off. Um, he looked like he was ready to start throwing punches and the face off to me. Got very emotional, looked very wound up. Um, yeah, I think uh, James in James in the right place, and I think I think everything George has had to say in the lead up to this. Um, I mean, by his standards, been quite mild, but he's still been very disrespectful and rude. And I think it's all coming back now, boxing him on the backside. He realises in a real live fight, and I think he's well aware that his title's about to leave him. I really believe that. I, re I really believe George Groves does not believe he wins the fight tomorrow night. I've just seen it in his eyes. Um, the lad's in trouble. He's in trouble. And he, he suggested to Jamie that you know Jamie may run. Uh, I mean that's not that's never been Jamie's style. Well, no. anyone that knows Jamie Cox, uh, there's method in his madness there. But I think he thinks everyone's as I don't want to be rude. We're not stupid, and uh, it's a silly thing for George to say. Um, we're not going to fall into his foolishness. Jamie's never took a backward step in his career. And if it, if it is, it's a really group and he's back on the front foot. Um, that's not Jamie's way. It's not Jamie's way at all. So he's not going to be into a world title doing something he's never done before. He'll just do the things he's done before, but in a better fashion. Um, George wants Jamie to get in there reckless. Because George knows if this goes past three, three rounds, four rounds, that weight he's had to get off, he's really going to struggle with it. He's going to struggle in a big way. So the best thing that can happen for him it's him and Jamie to start swinging right from the get-go and George thinks that he might land something to trouble Jamie and he can get the job done early because the longer it goes to George, the worse it gets with George. Uh, my, answer is, my answer is this, George comes early, he will go early. If he doesn't, he'll go later, but he'll lose. And what do you expect George to do? Having... I expect him to come early. I think he'll come early. I think he has to. I don't think he's got faith in his condition and his engine. Um, and that's why he's pent up. Look, he looks like he's ready to go now. Uh, he's, he's itching. He wants it over and done with. He's not enjoying it. Jamie's enjoying every moment of this. He can't wait. He feels great. And he's enjoying every moment. That's the difference. George is not enjoying this. It's all a chore for him now. He doesn't enjoy it anymore. And, and in the interviews, straight after the weigh-in, Jamie, very measured very confident and, and George kind of didn't really know what he was saying it, it, that's what it looked like to us I mean maybe we're biased but bottom line is mate we believe Steve we have a reason to believe we know Jamie and Jamie knows Jamie Jamie knows what he's capable of George doesn't believe and I think that became evident today I thought everyone at the weigh-in was for Jamie I thought everyone in the weigh-in today believed Jamie wins so regardless of what the bookmakers say boxing people know real boxing people know and um, I think uh, it's a lot closer, it'd be a lot closer to fair with the bookmakers, mate, if uh, it's down to boxing, if it's boxing people alone that were betting. So we know, we know, um, we know how we're going to go about this. And um, whatever he brings, mate, we've, we've, got, we've, got the, uh, we've got the antidote. We're very confident. It was almost the biggest task now for you to bring Jamie back down, because that, that was. You could, yeah. you could possibly say that was 1-0 Jamie, psychologically, uh, if, if, if you believe in mental games. Uh, and now Jamie's... See, we, we, we don't, George does. Um, I've said this before, George is a very insecure lad. And, you know, he's dealing with, kids that have, he's dealing with a kid that's come through a lot of adversity. He's dealing with a street kid, a lovely street kid, but he's dealing with a street kid. He ain't dealing, he ain't dealing to a spoon-fed kid. He's dealing with a kid that knows what tough times are, and he's a street kid. You know, and he, he's very, Jamie's instinctive, he knows, he knows what he sees, and he sees through George. George can't warn Jamie. 
He can't one jammer. You know, he's only warning himself. And it's evident. It's evident. And you just had the rules meeting as well, which obviously people generally don't tend to hear about these things. But you've had a few fun and games there as well, haven't you? Uh, yes, we have. Yeah, and uh, it works in our favour too. It wasn't meant to, but it works in our favour too. So we're happy. It's all good. It's all good. So in the rules meeting, can you can you reveal anything there about, about the gloves? Is it supposed to be secret? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather leave it there, Stu, to be fair, yeah, mate. You know, cool. if the people that were in the rules meeting were here, then we'd have the conversation, they could defend themselves. So um, I'd rather not for that for that reason, you know. Are you happy with how, how the rules meeting Yes, went. I am. I am. I am. And then Jamie's got his, his gloves, and, and you're supremely confident, as you have been throughout camp, that Jamie wins tomorrow night. Stu, there's no doubt in my mind that Jamie Cox will be WBA super, super middleweight champion of the world tomorrow night. Thank you, John. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks, Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.